there, Scorpio. Welcome to your mid-December 2023 general tarot update. It's Raina here. Pick an additional card. <laughs> wow. I was just going to mention, you know, I just did your fellow, um, your fellow uh, um, water sign um, cancer and um, they got a couple of cards that were similar to, or that were the same, the the Emperor and the Four of Wands in different positions, but also with the with the Focus card, um, they had the Knight of Swords and you have the Knight of Cups, and that's a much different energy. So, um, yeah, I can read this as relationship as well as career matters. The heart of the matter is the Knight of Cups. This is a card of an offer of love or an offer from the heart. So somebody's presenting, you know, just the body language of that cup, you know, which represents the water element. Somebody's presenting you something that has emotions attached to it. This can be a person who is very romantic an artistic individual who may come into your life romantically, but also if you're an artist too, you know, maybe you're collaborating or maybe, you know, like on some kind of a passion project because I even have in the past position, I even have the Ace of Wands, which can be some initiation of something very, um, much about you personally so it's very individual to you but also very exciting very um, inspiring and energizing this is like a whole new thing and um, it can have a creative um, element to it and things like that and if if you have already been doing it somebody may come and help you promote it or what you'd call market it or something like that but for people who have just like for those Scorpio people, because remember you have just gotten through an eclipse uh, cycle with uh, eclipses in your sign and your opposite sign of Taurus. I mean, this can even be like love related. So you have that polarity that could affect your seventh house of committed partnership. So let's say you've broken up with somebody in the past year and a half or so. Um, the Ace of Wands can be like a an affair or some kind of, um, I don't like the word affair because it sounds like, like there's cheating involved or it just sounds very torrid or tawdry. I don't know. Torrid is not a bad word, but something that is kind of cheap. <laughs> but yeah, some kind of passionate connection. Let's put it that way. But there may be uh, romantic uh, elements to it as well. The higher the message is the emperor. The emperor can speak to, uh, per I, well, what came into my mind is personal accountability. And I wouldn't necessarily say that 
myself, I'm, I'm learning how to just say what comes into my mind instead of analyzing it. Uh, this is real talk uh, from somebody who has a moon in Virgo to not analyze everything to death. Um, but um, I guess personal accountability works. What I mean is that you're taking responsibility for getting your life in order. In other words, or it could be even, um, you know, reminding you, gently reminding you, get your house in order. Don't get um, swept away by some situation that might be extremely romantic, but it isn't um, it, it isn't necessarily a time for you to get distracted by that because you may have other fish to fry. Uh, and let's say vegan fish. Uh, let's just say um, <laughs> tofu to fry because I'm, I'm a vegetarian, okay? Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, so, so those kinds of things because that, that can be what happens is that people... They, they go from the frying pan to the fire. They go from one, uh, you know, charged situation to another. So don't make that mistake. You know, really integrate your relationship. Or if this is work-related and um, maybe you have um, started your own business, like a side hustle or some kind of a business, and you're maybe you've had some kind of, offer from some entity the emperor is really asking you to get organized about it because you want to make sure i mean even this card too can speak to this this is in the challenge position so you may get multiple offers for whatever is going on and um oh and by the way um the fifth house can be the business that you own and you have uh, this card is connected to Neptune, and actually you have Neptune in that house. You also have uh, Saturn in that fifth house. So that this is a great time uh, when Saturn is in your fifth house, Scorpio, because it's also trining you. So it's um, providing a very nice supportive energy to your sun or ascendant to manifest fifth house matters. Now that could be love, but it can also be, um, you know, some kind of entrepreneurial thing. And the seven of cups is connected to Neptune because it can indicate confusion or wishful thinking. The idea that, you know, you have these offers. Um, I'm glad that in this deck, they, they don't have them all be like reptilian creatures. They have like See, you see some that are very nice. They got roses and then they have like a tornado. But you don't necessarily know in a snake. You don't know from the outside. Uh, they might look really nice from the outside, these offers, these situations. But you have to, you have to keep your cool. But the emperor is also asking you to, you know, be very organized in your life so that you're not, doing things rashly without thinking first. I don't think a lot of Scorpios are actually like that, but some of you may have hard angles from your moon to Mars. And that means, you know, because Scorpios are already emotional, that means that you just like run and do something, you know, out of that sense of like, oh yeah, this is, this is the way to go. What's coming in is the Queen of Cups. This is a very psychic card. This is connected to, this is mother energy, creativity. This is great for artists. I think of this card as the minor arcana version of the three of, um, of uh, I mean, of, of the uh, Empress card in a, in a lot of ways, creativity and motherhood. So it's very interesting because that card really speaks to the intuition, being very psychic. And maybe that, that Knight of Cups offer has to do with a healing arts business or position in their business. Well, look at the outcome, the Devil card. And same thing applies to any kind of 
you know, fling uh, romantic situation is that you may be tied, almost chained to a job or to a relationship because of monetary concerns or because of lust. And while in some cases it might be a practical necessity, at least the person needs to uh, acknowledge that, the, that they're doing something that they really don't want to be doing because they need the money or because, you know what I mean? Or because they find themselves like addicted to that person sexually. Okay. And at least if you admit that and say, I don't want to be here, but this is how it's showing up for me then it's easier to, to make a change. But a lot of times people will just defend their decision. It's really coming from an egoic place because they don't want to be wrong. So they defend their decision uh, about why they're doing something. And it only serves to underscore that you need to do something different because it's not working. So I picked a clarification card. I got the four of wands. This is a card of um, a happy home, a new home. Um, and really, ultimately, and I'd even say like a happy family, really, ultimately, love is about feeling, to me, it's about feeling safe. It's about feeling comfortable with somebody. Um, you can have all the money in the world, uh, or somebody can be wealthy that you get involved with and if they are cold or abusive and you could say that being cold is a form of being abusive then you're going to not feel safe you're not going to feel comfortable in their presence and it's like so what are you going to do with the money you're going to just go blow it on things that will make you feel emptier and emptier um so building a life with someone you know sharing a space where you feel like joyous the wands are related to fire and there's that passion there, which means that a person isn't dreading going home every day. So that to me is the ultimate goal, but the devil can kind of really um, get somebody under their spell. Okay, that's what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope that this resonated. If you would like a private reading, I'm promoting my astrological readings. I'm primarily an astrologer um, and I have some package deals like my deep dive reading, an hour of natal chart analysis, an hour of transits for a special price, $85, $0.85 US dollars for over two hours or at least two hours. I say over because a lot of times I have been going over, but I, I probably should, uh, you know, <laughs> shut my mouth more. But anyway, and then I have like standalone readings for different areas of life, like love and career and things like that. The link is below for more information. I'm at rainamoonastrology.com. Thank you for watching. Bye.